Right, the next thing we're going to work on is Kane no Yaku, which is gongs. Now, gongs are metal sort of, you know, you know what a gong is, but if you don't, a gong is a metal disc um, or shape that you can hit and it bong, gongs out. You In the West, we have them as dinner gongs, uh, but very few people use gongs anymore for anything. So, um, oh, I've not colored in the stick. So again, I'm using the Natori workbook and we're using Samurai Arms, Armor and the Tactics of Warfare. And what we're doing now is we are basically gonna talk about how gongs are used in battle. Now, before we use drums to signal the ad advance and retreat and gongs are used for the same, but primarily the gong should be louder or more used for retreat, whereas drums should be louder and more used for advance. So you can sort of hear that in the distance. Everything's going, they work together, the gongs, the trumpets, the conch shells and the um, drums all work together for Kuji. Imagine a trumpet, a gong and a drum doing Kuji. Rin, pyo, to, sha, kai, jin. You know, it's, it's going to be really good. But they should be more prominent on the gongs and less on the drums because drums get you going with aggression. So, so they should be used in battle, but you don't use them on the ships. The reason you don't use them on ships is because a gong is metal and it's of a yin element water is of a yin element so yin plus yin equals greater yin which is a symbol of defeat so gongs are never used at sea metal instruments are not used in in, in the sea in japan because yin and yin together is too much yin which is not it's defeat it's retreat it's darkness it's hiding it's all those things so you don't use the gong at sea